Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can actually build your package. So assuming you've downloaded the Atlas study, now you need to locate it. So I've saved mine in my T drive in a demos folder. So I'm going to go and locate the, the, the file that was downloaded or the directory was downloaded in this PLP demo uh, project. And once you open that, that will then load all of the files that were in the directory downloaded or the folders I downloaded by Atlas. And you can see them all here in this files in the, in the bottom right of the R, R session. So now if you click on R, you can see all these functions and these R scripts or the functions we're going to use. You can look at the ints that has your settings. So this has got your prediction analysis setting list. So this is going to be what, what, everything that's actually containing what all the studies you're doing. And then you've got the SQL. So this was for creating all the different cohorts in your studies. So what you need to do first is change the README. So the README um, is going to have details about the study, so it's worth changing the name, and then you'll probably also want to change the description. The steps should be pretty much the same for each study. They're, they're pretty standard. And then there's, um, so this is the bit where you want to uh, edit about the information about your study. And if we scroll down, we can see that we've got steps for it, for building it, and then uh, steps for actually running the package and the different code. There's actually another file that we'll go to in a bit that contains this code, and which we're going to actually edit. But once you've done all that and edited it, now you can go to the build option and the install and restart on the top of the right hand corner. And this is now going to build this package and make it so that it's then a, an available library in your in your R. So if it all goes correctly, you should get this done PLP demo or, or however you, you've called the, the package. It should tell you it's done. Uh, and now you're ready to, to go to this code to run file where you're going to be calling the packet, the, the library that you've just generated, and you're just going to be saying, so the first thing you need to edit is your FF temp directory. Then you need to edit your output folder, so where your results are going to be saved. Then you're going to edit your connection details. So we've gone through all this in previous sessions, so I'm not going to go into this too much detail. And then after editing that, you're going to edit your CDM database schema. So this is where your database are contained. And your cohort database schema, so this is where your cohorts are going to be um, found or created to, and the cohort table where the, the cohorts are found or, or currently created to. Then you have in the execute the options to create protocol, the options to create your cohorts, to run the analysis, to create the results document, and to package your results. The, the last one is this create validation package. If you set this to true, well, after you've run the model, uh, the, ex the, the whole study, and you've generated all these models, these will then get transported, removing sensitive information into a validation um, package, which you can then share with people to, to validate your models.